Oh, don't mind me, Cubbies. I was just making myself a big bowl of spinach. A big bowl of spinach. Bowl of spinach. 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 Big bowl of spinach. 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 Big bowl of spinach. 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 Big bowl of spinach. That's right. What's in your bowl? I bet you it's not spinach, but it should be spinach. Let's take, a, let's take a second to talk about all the properties that come along with this delicious green treat. Well, uh -huh. let's see, you got, you got its anti-inflammatory uh, properties, you got, you got the fact that it, it, it reduces hypertension, it's going to give you some folic acid, some vitamin K, D, A, B, C, all sorts of fucking vitamins. That's right, Cubby, spinach is great, absolutely great, you should be eating it. And, uh, you know, if you have trouble pooping, that's right, it's gonna help you poop. It's gonna make you leave a big, a big deuce in the toilet, eating that bowl of spinach. Yeah, that's right, a big, big deuce right in the toilet. I don't really, I don't really care for it myself. I know one guy that does, someone who loves spinach. Let's take a look and go meet who it is, all right? All right, cubbies, let's take a look at what we got. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fluffed Up. I'm not trying to spend the whole episode talking about spinach and all of its amazing properties. Instead, I got this package in the mail. Yes, I already opened it, and I apologize, but I wanted to make sure that it was what I ordered for this video. So, needless to say, we'll take out that cardboard wrapping. We'll take this out. Move this fucking box out of the way because we're not here for that. I'll fix my Mr. Sparkle Homer I got over to the side there because he's going to be in a future episode. Cubbies, thank you again for checking out this video. If you haven't already, you should definitely uh, consider subscribing to become a member of the Cub Squad uh, today. And no, we don't talk about spinach 24-7, although apparently it really is good. But we have Popeye. And not just any Popeye, this is the Mezco edition of Popeye. It is a 1 12th size collectible figure, and honestly, I have never in my wildest imagination considered getting this until I saw it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. It is beautiful. Let's cut this. I got my handy dandy X-Acto knife. Let that knife do. Open this up nice and carefully. We don't want to damage the integrity of this box. I've never actually opened a Mezco product, but I do have a former friend, and I say former because unfortunately he is no longer in a Don't Care Bears life, but it's all right. I got 97 other members of the Cub Squad at this point. As we try to get to our first 100 subscribers, and there definitely will be a giveaway, and I don't know what the giveaway will be. However, there we go. Take that out of the packaging. This Popeye Mezco figure goes for $80, and I know what you're thinking. You could be spending that money on a lot of a lot of other stuff, don't care, Bear, but you know what? No, you can't. I mean, what are you going to buy? A, a Soldier Boy knockoff game console? <laughs> I mean, that dude's going to jail soon, so let's take this off here. So before we do, before we unbox it, let's see what it comes with. All right, so on the top here, just kind of take the camera and move it a little bit for you. So we got six pipes. We got a compass, a spyglass, and two spinach cans. We got two interchangeable heads and three interchangeable hats. God damn, look at Popeye. He's so, it's like one of those hyper-realistic, like, Pokemon drawings, but, like, it's fucking Popeye, the Sailor Man. Then we get a 1 12th collectible display base. That's awesome. I didn't know that comes with it. He comes with his own duffel bag, of course. Seven interchangeable hands, which is kind of strange because you would think that he would have came with eight. Unless those are seven additional to the two that he's got, which is still an odd number. Uh, maybe he's going to be rocking one hand 
Then they just show a couple pictures down here of all his poses. That one looks awesome. But yeah, so that's the back of the box. Let's put the camera back. And let's just look at the box on the side. Pose, play, display, Mezco. Uh, apparently Mezco has a reputation of being absolutely stellar as far as character. Um, oh look, there's more, more plastic coming off. Let's take that out. God, it's just not, wow, they're it's very secure. There we go. There we go. So yeah, Mezco's got a reputation of being very, very prestigious. The figures are very high quality, hence the very, very expensive cost. But I really believe that this is going to be one hell of a product. Um, so yeah, let's move him back a little bit so you can see him in the picture. And goddamn, he is fucking cool looking. So if you spin it all the way around, you have a silhouette. On the back of, I guess that's Mezco's logo. I don't, it's my first Mezco product, so I'm not really 100% sure. But let's take him out of the box and just see what he is all about. So we can take this part up top here. All right. And he is just going to slide right down. Okay. So I'll put that over to the side. Let's see. So this has. Let's see here. Okay. So this part right here is to stand him up, I'm assuming. This is the 112th collectible sticker. And I think I saw a couple people. This is his Pico. So we're probably going to leave the Pico on him. Because of the fact that the peacoat has legitimate Velcro, uh, Velcro, and I don't want the Velcro to wear out. So once I zip it up, that'll be it. It's just going to, oh, this is actually just a baggie to keep all of his accessories in. That's really, really cool that they give you something like that. I always, like with my NECA products, I always leave the extra set, uh, blah, 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 accessories in the box and if I ever want to display them I just take them out so we're gonna put the base over to the side take his peacoat put that to the side it's actually kind of funny that the peacoat doesn't say on the box that it comes with it but I actually knew it does because I follow quite a number of people who follow or collect Mesco products so let's take this out Damn, this is fucking awesome. All right, so let's do this. Let's take out Popeye first. <laughs> oh man, look at him. He is one angry boy. Look at the actual, let's take him out. I wanna be very careful with him. All right, so they put him in this nice little plastic mold with this little paper to protect him. Um, if you are not familiar with Mezco products, um, I did do a little research. Their clothes are fabric. These are not, um, you know, like plastic molds or anything. These are legitimate fabric pieces. I don't know if it's like real polyester, but just look at that. That's so spot on. That is so cool. All right, so his hand is right here. The hands do come off. They are removable. And also not to mention that over time, I'm sure that some of the pieces kind of deteriorate as far as the articulation. But yeah, the hands are movable. I'm trying not to get in the way here. But yeah, the hands are movable. The legs are a little bit move. I want to be very delicate with how far I move it. I just don't want to take the risk of, you know, breaking this figure. It is extremely hard to get now. The only way you can get it is on eBay or some other aftermarket uh, vendor. Mezco sold out of these relatively as soon as they were announced. The pre-orders came out and then after a certain amount of time, like anything, the pre-orders were no longer available. But yeah, that that is just so awesome. And then we look at his pants. Pants have that awesome fabric. And his shoes, they have two little holes, which I'm assuming go into the base. That is very, very awesome. That is so cool. 
I am so happy with that. He is so hyper realistic. He looks so fucking angry. Wow. I'm just kind of moving him around. So you can get just your overall view of him. So he's got his um, ascot, I, I think, of some sort. His, oh, look at, look at big boy's biceps. Look at those monsters. It's gonna, it's gonna, it makes Dwayne The Rock Johnson look like, look like a pussy. <laughs> look at those things, Jesus. I guess it's for me and all that spinach. So let's see, let's put Popeye over to the side. And we'll grab him in a second and take a look at everything else that it comes with. All right, so, just click this up. This is the base right here. That is a very cool looking base. They're very, very awesome. Um, it's got an anchor on it. It's got a peg right here so that his foot can plug into it. Uh, that that is that that is very very cool. It's not the greatest quality, but it's just a base. It's just got to stand them up. That's all it's got to do. So we'll just leave that right there. Take a look. This is obviously Popeye's duffel bag. Very very awesome. It's also made out of fabric, and look, it even has rope so that you can close it shut. That is absolutely awesome. That is so cool. Wow. Kudos to you, Mezco. This is your first product that I bought. I am very happy so far. So let's take a look at what else comes in the pack. Of course, you got, you got your, your gel for oxidation, your silica gel. I'm just going to fucking eat that. I'm not really going to do that. I'm going to eat my spinach and get big and strong like big boy Popeye. Instead, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six pipes, and we have three that have smoke coming out of them, and three that are just standard pipes. And I would imagine the reason they come with so many is because, you know, again, even though this is a high quality product, it's more geared towards detail than anything else. And unfortunately, with something this small, it's going to be a little brittle. It's it's not going to be, you know, and they're very tiny. You could definitely definitely lose these I'm just being very delicate so this is a pipe with smoke coming out of the top it is a cobblestone pipe and that is pretty dope so we'll put that to the side I think that's the one we're gonna leave in Popeye's mouth to begin with so we're gonna put the rest of them back inside of the plastic that it came with and just seal that up I know it's off camera but you guys get the point We'll just throw that right back in the box. Okay. Let's see what else. So we've got a can of spinach. This is a dented can of spinach. Obviously, Popeye, Popeye's big, big Papa Boy arms and hands crushed this thing to no end. Right into his mouth. Crushed, crushed the spinach can right into his, his, his mouth. So maybe we'll put that in one of his hands. As we reach for another product in here, and this is a unopened can of spinach. The font is a little tiny. I don't know if you can read that. It says it on both sides. The can's got a, a rusted weather effect. Usually, you know, if you're a, you're a grown-up like the, the Don't Care Bear, the DCB, the host of Fluffed Up, you would know that when you go to the store, not many people eat the spinach. And it usually sits on the can, um, the the top shelf or the bottom shelf, for quite some time. So what we're gonna do is, before we go through the rest of this, we're gonna take a look at one more thing over to the side here, and this would be Popeye's compass. And the compass, if you can see, it does have numbers inside of there. And, well, not numbers, but you can see the letters for west, north, south, and east. It is very hard to see. The numbers are in there, though. And that is pretty, pretty dope. And what else do we got over here? Oh, man, he, I, I want to put something in each of his hands, but he's only got two. I can't put all these accessories in there. So, let's see here. He's got, <clears throat> he's got a, tele, uh, <clears throat> a scope. So you can look out for that, that big boy Bluto in the distance. That is a, 
pretty awesome prop as well. Maybe we'll put that in one of his hands. Actually, I think we're going to leave that. I don't think we're going to put the scope in. I think we're going to do the spinach. And... Mm, I'm thinking. Nah, you know what? Let's let's do let's do let's do the uh, let's do the scope and a can of spinach in one hand, so he can he can double fist. This Popeye's just that kind of guy, and I wanted to see if you could move it in and out. You cannot, and I am not going to try because I don't want to damage it. So that does not move in and out, which is kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. Okay, and let's see. Move Pop Boy back onto the big picture here. And then we're going to put him right. Line up that hole. Put him just like that. So that I don't have to leave him off into the the distance since he is the primary focus of this episode of fluffed up and i'm having quite the difficulty go the fuck on popeye and popeye does not want to stay uh he is standing up but he looks a little ridiculous there we go okay so we're gonna let, we're gonna popeye right in the center there you go okay so we have a variety of different hands for Mr. Popeye. Let's see what we got here. Alright. So we got we've got his finger pointing right right at you. He's pointing right at right at all the little bastards watching this video. Look, Popeye, he's got his finger pointing right at you. He's gonna he's gonna finger finger you. It's disgusting. Alright, so then you have you have a hand right here the other hand is the same exact one from this set uh, there's two of these versions one for left one for right and this one is probably the one that can hold stuff because it does have the open one versus his closed fist it's when he's looking to throw fisticuffs with uh, anybody that gets in his way and then we take a look at this one and actually this right here this hand is the one that grabs stuff just look Look at that. So the other one I could probably put the, the scope in. This one is going to hold stuff. And you know what I think is really great? It's also got the fingernail molds. You could see right on here the dirt in the fingernails, which kind of makes sense because Popeye's a sailor, man. You know, not only that, but he's going to... Fuck. <laughs> God fucking damn it, Popeye. Stand up, bitch. Come on. All right. Here we go. All right. So we got Popeye standing up. And let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, so we got an additional, an additional Popeye head. This one looks exactly the same. So you have two of the same Popeye heads. Which is awesome, because again, like I said, not only are these products extremely delicate and extremely detailed, but I would imagine over time they kind of deteriorate now the cool thing is you also get hats for Popeye all right now I remember Popeye not always wearing a hat but the hat fits exceptionally well and there's a reason for that it's because it's magnet which is extremely awesome for Mezco to provide us with a magnetic hat so that it stays on Popeye and you don't have to worry about it falling off all the time now that hat is kind of like his knit beanie. That's not the hat I know Popeye with, okay? The hat that I know Popeye with. Take, take him off. Popeye, stop falling over, dude. You've been eating spinach for God's 80 plus years. You should have uh you should have nice, strong, healthy bones. Getting that getting that potassium and folic acid in. This is the sailor hat. That is the hat that I know my Popeye with, okay? And I'm sure that you guys can all agree. So that Popeye hat on there. <laughs> and check that out. That is pretty awesome. That is an absolute fantastic hat for him to have on there. Okay. 
So that's that's all the accessories that it comes with. That's pretty fantastic. I'm really happy with that. The product, the overall, the mobility, again, it's there. The articulation is there. It is a little bit more limited, but I expected it being a highly detailed collectible figure. It's not like one of those Marvel Legend figures or even, um, what the hell's the other one I'm thinking of? Fuck. You ever remember something and you can't remember what the hell it's called? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. What the hell is the other one? NECA. NECA's got a ton of articulation. Mezco, I think, is really more... Get, see, look, he just doesn't stand up for shit right now. All right, Cubbies, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to gear up Pop by the, the way I want to display him. So give me a second. I'll be right back, and I'm going to have him completely decked out in the gear that I want him to wear. Yeah, it's me again. I fucked up. I wanted to show you this, too, so you're going to have to fucking deal with it. This is the pea coat that comes with Popeye. And if we can do this with one hand, I'm going to have stare at the corner of the room for a little bit. Listen to that. Oh, that sound feels so good. Yeah. All right. So Popeye's coat, like I was saying, does have Velcro in the interior. Okay. So that Velcro, as I was saying before, I don't really trust it to... um you know, last over the years, so once I leave it on him, it's going to stay on him. But the peacoat's going to make him look awesome. And just like his clothes that he's wearing, this is a fabric material, and God, Mezco, I got to give you quality, quality product is all I can say, because it is absolutely beautiful. I've never had a collectible figure with fabric like this. Like I said, my if you look over here at Michelangelo, I have in the corner of my room, that's a NECA product. His face is molded plastic. The back of it is fabric, but it's a very cheap fabric. This, while delicate, you could just feel that it, it, it's crafted wonderfully. And if you look, you got all these tiny little buttons right here. So let me finish decorating him. I know I said this twice now, but I, I had to show you this. I want you to get the full experience of what not just Popeye, but Mezco looks like in general. And this is one hell of an awesome coat. All right, Kelby's. It took me about an hour and a half because I'm fucking stupid and fat and dumb. Truth be told, I got these big old bear mitts. And when the pipe is a fraction, and I'm talking millifraction, decifraction, the tiniest fraction possible of your body's mass, it's not easy to maneuver these parts. So, these are the props I decided to rock with. I've got him looking through his telescope. I could move it a little bit further if I needed to, but if you're looking at it at the right angle, you can't even notice that it's not touching his eye. Not that he really needs to, the eye's fucking closed anyway. It's Popeye, he's only got one functioning eye. I think he's got like a brain tumor or something, I don't know. However, we gotta put the pipe in his mouth. So I figured I'd leave that for now. The one I chose was the one with the smoke coming out of it. So let's see. I think you can put the pipe in either one. I don't think it has to go in one or the other. I think it can go right in there. Should I want it to? And it doesn't fit. Oh, there's the hole. There is a hole for the pipe in his mouth. If I can get it in there right. I'm trying, yep, I knew that was going to fucking happen too. So yeah, as you can see, I already broke one of the fucking pipes. God damn it. So it's a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, hitting that pipe in there. But, I'm not done yet. What I did do, and this is why they give you so many pipes, because they expect this shit to happen. I took the little baggie that you could put all the props in. You'll just get another pipe out of there. And try to get another pipe inside of there, shall we? Let me find another one. Smoke coming out of it. Now the box has it coming out the other side. So let's see. Maybe we take that out. Move its hand down. Maybe the pipe is supposed to go in here. See, I'm trying really hard. Right, see, yeah, there's there's no hole on that side. It's got to go on this side. 
there is a hole right in the side of his face where the pipe should go. It's just a matter of getting it in the right angle. I don't want it to just sit like that. Maybe I do want it to just sit like that. See, I want to have it going a little bit. There we go. Okay, you don't want to push too hard, but you do want to get it in there so that it has some give to it. There we go. Popeye's got his pipe. Very nice. So we're going to take the other one and that's just going to end up as trash. And now it makes sense as to why they give you so many additional things. So let's move that hand back up there. And we're going to just wedge his, put it a little lower this time. And we're going to wedge that telescope right in, right in the Popeye's mitts. There you go. Move it back a little bit, make it look authentic. There you go. Alright. So you got Popeye with his pipe and the piece de resistance. You gotta put his sailor hat on. And this is really gonna look pretty dope. There you go. And it fits absolutely wonderfully because again, it is magnetic. <sighs> Absolutely wonderful. Let's move this camera back a little bit. Actually, I might even bring it down lower to the table level. So you can get a full glimpse of Popeye and move Popeye back. And let's see how that looks. That looks like garbage. So let's just do one of these and we'll just. And there we go. So I finished putting them together. And what I did was I took the extra compass, or not the extra compass, but the compass. I took the extra unopened can of spinach, and I took, what else did I take? Oh, his hat. And I put that in his duffel bag. So when I display him, he'll just got the duffel bag chilling at his feet like that. And I put the open can of spinach in his hand. His hand fits perfectly in that mold. That hand is definitely made for the, the telescope. Hey, what you looking at there, boy? And there we go. That is so fucking cool. That is just awesome. I'm so happy with that. That hyper-realistic expression just looks really good. And that, my friends, is the Mezco Popeye. It's absolutely beautifully crafted. I mean, I can't really say enough about it. However, there were a little bit of difficulties that I ran into, mainly because I have these big bear mitts, these big boy don't care bear mitts. And that made it a little difficult getting these props into place. Um, another thing was his coat, the pea coat. I got it on beautifully. What I found a good way to get it on, because it was very hard to manipulate his arms to fit through. What I found really useful was to lift his arms straight up like this, slide the coat on, and then slide it down and adjust it into place after taking both hands off. Once the coat was on, I put both hands back on. And I found that to be much easier than the first way I was doing it, just trying to wiggle the coat on one arm at a time. Apparently, Popeye can't wear coats like normal people. A, because his biceps have tumors, and B, because it's not articulated enough to do that. However, I will say that I was very afraid of breaking it, so I was being very, very careful with it. However, you can be a little bit more, I wouldn't say rough, but it's definitely more durable than I gave it credit for. Um, it, it's just one hell of a product. I gotta say, very happy with this. My first Mezco purchase. Definitely will be purchasing again in the future. But that is one hell of a product. The base looks awesome with the Popeye duffel bag. All the other items, like I said, I put inside of my, my plastic bag here for the 112 collectible. I got the box all sealed back up. There's nothing in there, but the box looks awesome to display behind him. So that's what it's gonna do. It's a great addition to my collection. I didn't get him from Mezco directly. Mezco was sold out. Like I said, I got him from a third party site. I did pay $10 more than I was supposed to because obviously you can't get him. If you do have the opportunity to get it and you are a fan of not just Popeye, I mean, Popeye was a fantastic cartoon but just a fan of this awesome product in general. This is not a sponsored video, but definitely check out Mezco. They were great superhero shit, all sorts of stuff. But yeah, Cubbies, that's pretty fucking dope. I'm very excited with that, very happy for my purchase. I would definitely give it about a, just quality, 
alone makes it a, a 10 out of 10 figure. But I'm going to just say, just because I did run into some issues, but they might have been mine, I'm going to just say an 8.5 out of 10 from, uh, from my perspective. Definitely, definitely worth it, though, in my opinion. But that's it, Cubbies. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Fluffed Up. If you haven't already done so, click that subscribe button, hit that bell, share the video if you want to. I don't really give a fuck. But... This is your bear, bro, the don't care bear, the DCB baby, live from the bear cave, bringing you the Mezco Popeye figure. Cub Squad, be yourself, be happy, don't give a fuck what other people say about you, you only live once. Cub Squad, until next time, this is the don't care bear, signing off from the bear cave. So, Cubbies, fun fact, while I'm putting them together, I realized that uh, when you pop off the hands, they look a little ridiculous. I just wanted to, I wanted to show you that. Not only do you get a Popeye figure, but you also get a Captain, a Captain Nub figure as well.